Hello folks, you know I'm only making this video so to save you some time so you don't do what I did. Well you've seen my videos before about why I clone my hard drives to retain programs, license keys, and not just pictures and documents that the standard backups do. I have many years of computer experience as I worked for Burroughs and Unisys large systems back in the 70s, long before Windows Big Breakthrough came in 1995 with Windows 95. It was at that point in time that I got my MSSE, that's Microsoft Systems Engineer License, and opened Dave's Computer Repair Service, building and fixing computers while I was still in the Marine Corps Reserves. Well, many folks believe that if their hard drive fails and that they have done backups, they can restore them with a new hard drive. That's when they find out that they may have all their data, but not their programs. That's because a backup can't actually back up a computer program that is already embedded in Windows operating systems. In my case, many of my programs, like my simulators and video editing software and music uh, editing software, were downloaded online. So unless I still have the license key and the program disk, I'm out of luck trying to reinstall them. You can always buy a separate server to back up the entire hard drives daily, but most people don't do that. So every couple of years, I just clone my hard drives. Some folks subscribe to an online backup that they tell me saves their data and programs. So if your hard drive fails, I wonder how you're supposed to go online and download the complete drive to a new blank drive you'd have to install on your computer first. Maybe they send you the data in a snail mail and you can use cloning software or a thumb drive boot up program to install it. To me, it's just easier to make your own clone before it happens. Well, cloning means you're making an exact bootable copy on your new hard drive. Then if yours fails, you replace it with your clone and bingo, you don't even know what happened. So all that said, my computer's running fine, but I exercise it a lot with simulators, music editors, programs, and my video editing software. I began to notice my mechanical hard drive was starting to become louder than normal, so I figured it was about time to do a backup. In my simulator computer, it has an SSD. That it means solid state drive in it for the operating system, plus a mechanical drive for the data and programs. It's a newer Dell that I notice boots up almost instantly with that SSD. Also having the two hard drives make it hard to contaminate the Windows operating system that way. But my other Dell, and the one that I'm using the most and I'm using right now to make this video, uh, has a Seagate 7200 RPM 1 terabyte drive. So I decided to go ahead and replace the hard drive with a Samsung 1TB SSD. Solid state works just like an SD card or a thumb drive. There are new moving parts and these days are quite a bit faster. So I decided to use the software I always use to clone my hard drives which is the Ease US Partition Master or the Seagate Wizard. You know I paid full price like 150 bucks for the Ease US Partition Master software and so since I already had it installed on my computer, I decided to use that. So I connected the SSD up via the USB adapter that I had and began to clone process with no problem. Well, since I'm using USB instead of direct motherboard connections, the process is slower. Also, this program does its cloning within the BIOS screen and not within Windows. And it took almost six hours to clone the drive. When finished, I compared the two I had the same identical memory used and the software stated the drive was copied successfully. So I unplugged the HDD and plugged in the SSD and turned the computer on. Immediately it said my computer failed and to contact Dell's support. So I went into the startup boot bias and messed with it for at least an hour trying to get that SSD to be seen. What actually was being seen but it just would not boot. I switched it from legacy to UEFI and back and forth to no avail. I tried everything that the BIOS would let me do and it didn't work. So I figured my older Ease US software was not doing something right. You know, in talking to Don Kopp, one of my longtime subscribers a few weeks earlier, he mentioned he used Macrium Reflex software to clone to his SSD. You know, it's a free program, so I decided to download it and try the cloning again. Well, this time the cloning process was done within Windows operating system while it was still running. And this time it only took four hours to copy the 750 or so gigabyte of data to the SSD. 
When it was all done, it said everything was completed, I plugged the SSD into the SATA ports and turned on the machine. It came on almost instantly. Well, I knew SSDs were faster because of my other computer, but this was like a crazy supercomputer compared to the old HDD. And I noticed now all my programs open almost instantly and it's completely quiet. It is also a very small drive, so I simply velcroed it to the old drive, which I left mounted and I'm ready to go in case I need it as a backup. So in conclusion, I'm pretty impressed and now have my old HDD standing by as it's the best and most complete backup. So if you're ready to upgrade, you're going to be impressed as well. But I would recommend starting out with the Makerium Reflex software as it's designed to work with SSDs. The solid state drive that I got is this one terabyte Samsung 860 Evo VDAN. They make larger versions, but this is all I needed and only cost 99 bucks. It has a five year warranty and claims it is good for 1.5 million hours. I converted that and that's 62,500 days or 171.12 years. <laughs> I think that's good enough for me as I'll be happy if it lasts at least 10. I'll be 83 by then if I can make it that far. <laughs> well thanks a lot for watching folks and remember there are many ways to cut a pizza and I know you all have your own ways but this was my way and I hope it helps. So thanks a lot for watching, stay well and God bless.